Hello everyone, and today is Monday, and you're like, what are we gonna do? Do we not see anything about Africa? We are moving on, you all. So we are actually going to talk about China. Um, this is a wonderful topic. I love this particular um, topic as well because we, um, I actually had a chance to travel to China. I went to China and I studied abroad the educational system there, and I learned a lot about the culture and the people and the environment. And I mean, as soon as I got off the plane, you could tell that it was a different place that smelled different from our country. Um, China um, had a very interesting smell um, when I got off the plane and everything looked so different. Um, you know, um, it wasn't a lot of people, um, you know, it was a lot of people, you know, everywhere. And they used a lot of umbrellas. They used umbrellas when they walked around. Um, the food, I could not eat the food. It is not like Chinese food that you think here at all. You don't know what you are eating, okay? So the only thing that I ate over there was bread, because I knew what that was. I ate some um, watermelon, because I knew what that was. I ate lynchy, which is this type of um, fruit, and it has a real hard skin on it. I ate that, and rice. But even with the rice, they just threw everything in there. I mean, it was just... I mean, some of the things you just would never expect. Like for instance, they even offered me to eat over there um, June bugs. They offered me that to eat. They offered me um, turtle and they offered me um, scorpion to eat. Mm -hmm. And also they offered me, um, if for breakfast in the morning, they offered um, dog meat to eat, yeah. So they they have different cultural cultural differences than we have. They do um, raise dogs to eat just as we have them, you know, for companionship. They actually raise them to eat, just like we raise pigs. So it really changed my whole perspective on um, food that we eat um, over here. We have Americanized Chinese food, but it's so much I could go on and on about China and my experiences there, but I'll try to give you little pieces throughout the week. All right, so let's talk about China. Okay, we're just going to um, watch a short video about um, some facts about China. And this is for kids, but it's just real fun. I think it's something, you know, neat for you all to look at, okay? And make sure you hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up for more videos just like this. Let's go. Hello, friend. You know I love talking about fun places around the world. And today, I've got 10 fun facts about China for kids. Starting off, when talking about China, it has an official name. That official name is the People's Republic of China. When taking a look at the map in countries around the world, China is huge. In fact, China is so large that it is the third largest country in the world. Another fact about China is they have so many railroad tracks going through China that if you were to put them all together, they could wrap around the earth twice. Now, when it comes to the largest population in the world, meaning where do the most people live, China tops the list. That is because it is said that there are approximately 1.3 billion people living in China. Just like in the United States of America, our capital city is Washington, D.C. China has a capital city, too. The capital city of China is Beijing. When looking at the calendar, China has a celebration called Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year is made up of 15 days of celebration. Another interesting thing about the Chinese calendar is the fact that each year is represented by animals. In order, the 12 animals are the rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and the pig. Of course, in any country, you want to look for beautiful things to see and the city of Hong Kong has that. That is because in Hong Kong, it has the most skyscrapers of any city in the world. Another interesting thing about China 
is that there is a city called the Forbidden City. The Forbidden City is a complex in China that has 9,000 rooms to visit. Finally, many kids love looking at the stars and thinking about outer space. When it comes to countries actually sending people to outer space, China did succeed in putting a person into outer space. They were the third country in history to send someone into space. And that is all with 10 fun facts about China for kids. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. And I hope you had fun learning with FRE. All right. So that just gives you a little facts about China. And um, hopefully I'll give you a little insight about the culture and the population as well. So um, what I want you to do is um, today, I want you to, uh, first of all, let's look at our, um, what we're going to do a project. All right, so you're going to create a poster about China. You're going to have a border. You're going to use a half a sheet of poster board. You're going to do a border. You're going to have China in some type of uh, font. This looks similar to the Chinese um, culture, the Chinese letters. Um, you're going to have colors related to China, so you need to use yellows um, as well as reds. Um, you need to include this information, um, the population and all that good stuff about um, to China, the currency, you need pictures of the food, things that you see here. Use text boxes to put your information in. You're going to draw some images of um, the animals as well. You see the panda that's up here, the food, the currency, all those different things um, as well. To make sure I add animal to that as well. Um, but you do need a picture of um, the facts and the drawings um, that you see you need to upload as well. All right, so you can see an example of that there. Um, now, so you're going to create your poster. Make sure that you see how I shaded the background from dark to light. Let that yellow fade out or whatever color you decide to do in the background, but make sure you use the colors that you can see that red and yellow are really dominant colors in Chinese culture. So this is really a good idea. Maybe the words could be red. Maybe you could create some type of a border, a Chinese um, symbol border. And let's look at see if I can find something to give you um, an idea for the border. But you need some type of border that relates to the culture. Um, so I'm gonna type in Chinese border. All right, so um, this is what I want, something like this in for your border, for your poster. This is really neat right here too, I like that. This is nice, but you sometimes, these are Chinese borders, but I want some type of border for your background. This is really neat too. Something like that for your poster. So your border, you need to have a border, this is neat. You need to have a border and you need to make sure that your poster includes all the information on that handout, okay? And you'll, you'll see that in the description box. Um, on Schoology, okay? Um, so think about how you're gonna do your poster. Go ahead and start your poster today. Upload your progress um, today. Start that and it is due on Friday. Looking forward to seeing these.